Hey there! I have decided to do the bunker challenge. Uh, this is something that was started by the Antique Nomad and uh, he has his own channel which I'll, I'll link down in the description but he's made a playlist of all these videos so it's really a challenge for us who uh, promote and go out and get the antiques and things to resell but also to show you what we have in our own homes so I, I have a quite a few things to show you. I'm going to start in my hallway. Now I gotta figure out how I flip this camera around. So, uh, hey, go watch the intro while I figure out how to do that. out so I'm in my little downstairs hallway because I want to show you very favorite pieces of art if I can get the glare off of it um, this is a print by Tony Leonard it's a uh, 2002 it has Secretariat Seattle Slough and Affirmed um, the three greatest Triple Crown winners uh, for their time I, mean, I guess there's been some others since then anyway um, for those of you who don't know, I actually raised and trained thoroughbred racehorses. And uh, so it's kind of a near and dear subject to my heart. I've got another one here in my downstairs bathroom I'll show you. This is a piece of art by um, Fred Stone, and it is a print. Uh, but don't just think that prints don't have value. Prints do have value. Um, this is, you can see, it is signed. This is what's called double signed because it's printed with a signature, but then he also signed it. And then it is number 325 out of 950. Now, optimally, a print is going to be the most valuable with a lower number. So you'd really like to see that second number under 500 for the best value. But I, I don't even care what this is worth. It's not going anywhere because it's my little baby thoroughbred horses. And I actually got the great pleasure of meeting Fred Stone in person at Santa Anita when I was there actually um, training horses. So I, I've got some fond memories of meeting him and some of the jockeys. And I have several Fred Stone prints out in the garage, still rolled up in the tubes because they just can't bring myself to um, take any chances that something will happen to them. But I do need to get them framed to get them put up because I love them. Okay, what should we look at next? I guess I'll take you to the kitchen. All right. All right, here's my kitchen. Um, I also am big on tortoises. So I have my little tortoise corner here, if you will. Um, this is probably like one of my favorites. These are all thrifted or bought at yard sales or antique malls. Um, the cookie jars came from antique malls. I'm pretty sure the rest of it was thrifted. But yeah, I love this. Is Anybody who has tortoises know this is like their little like, oh, I'm scared. Um, I, I, he's heavy. I don't even know. I, I'll never sell him. <laughs> and then I've got these little guys. I think these are... I thought they were Joseph Originals, but they're not. They're they're of that era, though, with like the big eyes, and he's just he's just cute. Um, this is like a water turtle, but he came in a lot with some of the others from an auction. That's another place I buy stuff, and so he just lives there. Um, this is the tortoise and the hare cookie jar. I got it in an antique mall, and these sell for about twenty five dollars. But again, not going anywhere because I love him. Um, I think I bought this off of eBay. No, no, no. I got this from a friend who does Facebook Live auctions. That's what it is. So I got that. It's a trivet. It's quite old. As you can see, it's got some age on it. And then over here in the other corner, I have my, my other tortoise cookie jar. Also only worth $20, $25. Can you guys see? I have a little 
I have a little fruit fly flying around because we're right next to the fruit. Um, but yeah, and then um, flowers, come on you guys, surround yourself with pretty flowers because they'll cheer you up. Up on top, I have a ledge and I'll start, I have three of these big giant grapes that I absolutely just adore because um, they're just funky and cool and I've never seen others like them so that's why they're there. I have puppies playing in the background. <laughs> um, I've got this really cool tomato teapot uh, that came from an auction. I got the rooster pitcher who's just not worth enough to list and he's colorful. I'm big on color. And they're like, I love sunflowers and I found those, I don't even know, can I zero, can I zoom? Ooh, look at that, I can zoom. Um, I got these really cool oversized sunflower mugs that again, didn't have enough value to sell and I love them. So this is actually a, a candle holder, but some of the little birds broke off so like this one, I just stuck them up in the nest. Um, the nest is meant to hold the candle and the birds sit on the branch. But I kind of I kind of funkied it around a little bit. And then um, the tray, I'm holding my arm up as far as it'll reach. The tray came from uh, an antique store in California when I was on a trip with my daughter up the coast. Um, I just liked it. And birds, really into birds. Now, I don't know if you can see below the cardinal, there's this little, uh, I can't get any closer. This was made by my daughter. She made that little bird. It's hanging out in the tree with the cardinal. Got this big, cool red pitcher. Again, hassle factor makes it not worth listing. And it's got a crack, so, but it looks really good up on the shelf, right? And the watermelon. And that, those are just thrift store finds. Um, and then I got a bunch of these little wooden birds and flowers. Now that I zoomed, I gotta figure out how to, un there we go, unzoom. I've got them there. And then I got them over on the other side. I don't know, I just love them. So they stayed, they stayed with me. Um, and then on my little windowsill ledge are all of my little thrift store tortoise finds and uh this one oh come on you're sold or you're supposed to be you're supposed to be popping right now and then these i just got at an antique mall recently i have to find a thimble for this one which is really easy to do and then i've got my little uh, black amethyst glass this is a candy dish i forget who makes it um but because of the birds it's mine i love it all right. Oh, one more thing. I'll show you my little tomato. This was a thrift store find. It's uh, just a simple little rug. I think I paid like two bucks for it, but I'm a color person. So, oops, have my hand over the camera. Um, I'm a color person, so I just loved, I loved the colors of it. All right. I guess I'm really bad at like walking around with the camera. I, I'm out of practice from thrifting <gasps> where I was holding the camera, right? Okay, so let's go into now my, we just call this the room. It's not, it's not a living room. It's not a family room. It's just right now, kind of a room. Okay, so here is the room that's off of the kitchen. Um, you can see I got these lamps from a thrift store. I just absolutely, I got a pair. They are brand new. Love them. Love, 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 love them. And then I got my little, I'm big on fake plants because I'm not real good at keeping plants alive. So uh, I've had this one. I don't even know where I got this. I've had it so long. And then the table, um, which I can't really show you because I got stuff on it. But this actually opens up to be a full dining room table. Um, but you can see, I got that at a thrift store. You guys, I don't pay full retail for anything. All right, here is my amazing antique curio cabinet that is just like, whenever the movers come, I'm like, okay, you can break anything but that. Um, and I'm in the process of filling it 
with all of my antique opalescent glass, which I have been going through and identifying so that my children know what they have at some point in their life. <laughs> and then there's my, my flowers. I was like, ooh, do I need to dust up there? This will be a good test, won't it? Because I've never looked up there. I'm not that tall. Um, but these are just, these are actually real dried flowers and super delicate. And somehow I've managed to have them survive on this move. Um, then I've got this ledge, and you know, I've kind of got a little mishmash up here for now. Not sure what I'm doing up here yet, but again, horses. This is ironwood. Um, he didn't get listed because he's actually had to have his leg repaired. Um, so we keep the misfits. And then I got this really pretty clock that has real dried flowers in it. Again, that's another thrift store purchase. Got the little bird box behind it. Again, those are more like, you know, just fake flowers, which I'm just a big fan of. Now this actually is made, oh gosh, I can't remember who done it. It's marked, but it's, I don't wanna, I don't wanna break it. It's super heavy, super heavy. Oh, I can't find the mark underneath. Oh, maybe by the time I edit this video, I can remember and add that in the comments, but. I just love it. It's really heavy. That is why I never listed it um, because I just don't think it would make it and it would break my heart if anything happened to that. And then I've got, of course, the thrift shop finds. Thrift shop finds. This is just a, that's metal. The, the tall, spiky one in the front, it's metal. That one's just fake flowers behind there, but it's in a wood vase. And then I got another horse. Actually, this one's not broken. I don't know. We probably should have listed this one, but horses have trouble leaving here. Um, and then more, more fake flowers, more fake flowers. And then um, over there, we won't talk about, that's the eBay listing room. So we'll just kind of tuck in over here. <laughs> um, I'll be filling this one up soon too with more of the, um, the glass. This was bought at an auction, this big giant um, I guess those are orchids. Yeah, are they orchids or yeah, they're orchids. Jeez, had a brain moment there. Um, then I got another. I put this one together. <laughs> I was trying to hide all the stems, and I just kind of like got some of those little colorful rocks and things, and I did that. These were actually a gift when I was newly separated and a single mama the it's the mama bird and the two baby birds is my new little family so those are super special those are actually raku pottery um which actually does really well on ebay but i will never sell these again birds birds and horses don't leave here very easily i don't even know if this one has a maker mm -hmm. yeah it's got one of those labels that you can't read anymore so but i love it and peacocks i'm a really big fan of peacocks too and then of course we always come back to the tortoises um they just have a special place i found this i found this off a facebook marketplace for 20 bucks and i was like dying thinking like oh man i hope nobody else gets to that before me and they didn't and i got it and i'm super super happy and I just recently got the peacock feathers from an auction to add to it. So, yeah. So that's my, that's, that's the room that we're still in the process of figuring out what we want to do with it. Oh, I will show you. I'll show you my naughty little doggies. Have like, I've just come to the fact that this is their couch. We don't use this couch. Um... Once my, my Rottweiler, who is somewhere else right now, this is usually where she lays, and she's absolutely just destroyed the leather. <laughs> I should test one of those little products that they say, you know. But this one, this one right here, yes, this is the guilty. This is the guilty party. I am going to show you what this one has done. Did it, did it, did it. Yes, he has eaten the couch. This is why no new furniture is going in this room <sighs> until 
he's trained and the Roddy is no longer with us. She's old, she's an old girl, so I don't know how much longer she has. But anyway, I'm gonna go fill the curio cabinet and uh, I'll share that with you when it's done. All right, see you soon. Okay, time to fill that up. Where do I wanna start? I'm gonna start with my favorite piece. I have been told that this is a piece by Lotz, L-O-E-T-Z, but I'm having trouble getting confirmation on that. Uh, so if you know, hey, I'd love to know. One of my favorites, though. It's gorgeous! It's gorgeous! So it gets kind of the front and center spot. Another one of my favorites with the purple rim. Mm -mm -mm. Butterflies. This, I love this pattern. Swirling maze. This has an occlusion in the glass. It's really cool, actually. Like a little hair put there at the time it was made. Ta-da! All right, that's it. My glass is put away. Yes. Hey, everybody, let me take this off my little holder. I can talk to you. Ha, ah, there we go. Um, that's it. Thanks for uh, taking a little tour with me and helping me put my glass away. And uh, maybe I will get brave and show you more rooms. So with that, go be profitable. Make it fun. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Okay, so you might have seen the little gold trunk that was sitting on the shelf. I totally
totally forgot it was filled with stuff. Um, so I just unburied all that. I haven't figured out where it's going yet, um, but let me show you what, it, what I have stashed away that I have to find a home for. Okay, so here's just my, my little stash. I absolutely love these little, uh, they're Asian, they're carved from wood. They're even upside down. Um, these little goldfish, these fantail goldfish, um, I buy them whenever I see them at antique malls usually. And this one, we glued him and he came apart. Um, these guys are just really cool. Um, I believe these are Blanc de Chine. I don't know much about these actually. I've never really investigated because I loved them and I wasn't going to sell them. And then I found this piece that was of that same style and, well, not so much the same style, but the same um, type of pottery. And I, I also believe this is a Blanc de Chine. And I just really liked it. And I got my little fake African violets. Again, you guys, the fake plants, the little succulents, they're all fake because I kill things. So this way I don't kill them. I just have to dust them. Um, just, I don't know, just a fun little vase with pretty colors. Um, and these have been on my travels. This was a gift from a friend. And these I found, oh gosh, I want to say that I found these in Georgia on one of my um, Day with Danny um, shopping trips. They're magnetic. Yes. And they're cows. And I'm utterly good stuff. So that's why. Because they're cows and I'm utterly good stuff. Um, I don't collect cows though. I, I have a bunch of cow stuff, but I don't collect cows. I'm not going to go down the road my grandmother did where um, somebody thought that she liked cows because she worked at the Alpha Beta Dairy and someone gave her a cow figurine for a gift and she displayed it proudly in her home. So all that came over saw this cow and started giving her cow stuff. And why is my hair just like totally flipping out right there? Holy smokes. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm not going to go down that road. I'm just going to be very clear. I don't collect cows. I collect antique glass though. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, anyway, now that's it and, uh, go be profitable and make it fun. This was fun. Also got some stuff unpacked. That's cool. All right. See you later.